fantastic Friday night tell you what bloody great to be out this is my time even though I work outdoors all week Monday I was up in the hills quite high up beautiful day climbing on a crag with a group Tuesday I was uh, mountain biking Wednesday I was uh, bushcraft survival Thursday I was mountain biking again today I've been doing uh, bushcraft survival more survival skills but just to drop the group and be out on your own in the forest it's fantastic absolutely love it so let's get out of here we're going to do a camp and we're going to do some bushcraft so it's good to see you anyway Rick T Outdoor Adventures and Billy Dog who you'll see shortly and uh, yeah let's have a good night and get some stuff done cheers for joining us now it's put some serious rain down overnight I've never there's streams everywhere in this forest that are not usually here uh, it's absolutely been belting it down the roads have been uh, you know you've been driving through two foot deep puddles aren't we here uh, yeah so the road the woods are saturated but uh, we don't mind just makes it a bit harder doesn't it carrying quite a big pack today but I don't need it there's not a lot in it I mean this big thing on top this big uh, bedding pack that's Billy's sort of winter pack when it's really cold but I was just rushing about today and I just instead of messing about stripping stuff down I just chucked it in yeah I can carry it it's no issue it's not heavy it's right it's nice to go strip down to the eight stuff and that minimum pack but yeah for today bang it on lug it out here it'll do the job top of the pack right at the top as always cordage guy lines etc then my tarp dd 3 by 3 tape boom you can get it up before anything gets wet don't have to get anything else out straight at the top straight out straight up boom plenty of protection wanted for tonight so my set up tonight I mean it's pretty dark already in forest here and we're only early doors it's only uh, what is it half past four but uh, I've gone for a standard lean two config well, I've raised this side here because I might the weather's going to get a bit crap I think so I might just have a fire on the edge down here somewhere so standard lean to trouble is I've just spotted the uh, blooming gaping hole in my tarp here which uh, must have happened last weekend I were on a survival course last weekend so where the summit came out of tree and just landed on it funny and so I'll have to try and repair that but it's out at way for tonight so a standard lean to yeah I've got this end fastened to a tree over here I might make a little fire pit in front underneath here like I say it's a bit dark but you can see Billy down there and uh, my kit I've uh, I've not got an inflatable roll mat with me tonight but it's it's all right out here as in it's the ground's quite soft it's, it's like a mattress in itself but I've got a thin a really thin uh, bit of foam underneath me and they say the ground's all right i'm not gonna i'm not gonna freeze from uh, you know conduction or anything like that and they've got a decent setup for radiation etc and convection so we should be all right that way but uh, like i say from ground up i'm on a tiny little mat but luckily i took that big stuff in for billy so we've got that wool blanket as well billy's straight in his bed like he always is <laughs> Good lad, as soon as you build a shelter, a natural one or a man-made one, a tent, a tarp or whatever, whoosh, 
He's straight in there, makes his cell at home. He knows the score. Good lad. I'm not messing about tonight. Everything's sodden down here. I'm gonna get a bit of dead standing. Yeah. I mean, this tree's gonna come down at some stage anyway. I know it's one of them in it, but uh, it's coming down. That's gonna be my firewood tonight. A bit of dead standing. Like I say, the top's on it. It's gonna be relatively dry inside that wood. Everything else is sort of piss wrapped. So I'm going for dead standing, no messing. Go boy, go boy, go boy. Billy, come here, this way. Go on, this way. Go on, over there. Good boy. I'll move him further out of the way in a minute. Right now. Firewood for night. Easy. When you're trimming anything like this, always trim on the opposite side of the branch to you. Yeah, so that branch is in between the axe and my leg, and always cut behind you if you can so that one there step in front cut behind you dry wood that. It was warm today though honestly. It's absolutely roasting. <laughs> you know, for time of year. I'm looking forward to it getting colder. This firewood's really gonna be for cooking, it's not for warm. It's for cooking on and a bit of light. Everyone likes to sit round the campfire at night don't they? And suck a couple of whiskies. So, but yeah, we'll get this sectioned up and we're laughing. So part of what we're doing today, or tonight and tomorrow, is I'm trying out a new tool. So I've been sent a new tool from Beavercraft. Now Beavercraft makes some excellent carving tools. I've got quite a few of the knives for small, delicate carving, but they do some absolutely brilliant bits of kit that's quite affordable. Yeah, it's not too expensive, but good quality. Well, they sent me this uh, ads. So, <laughs> so I'm not using ads a lot. It's, it's, so it's going to be great, it's great for me, I've done a lot of carving of balls and cuxes with chisels and knives and stuff like that, but it's going to be really nice to try out and add. Now this adds, it's a nice weight, so I'm looking forward to using it. It comes with this belt hanger, yep, so you can hang it on your belt, put that on your belt and then slide your ads in, yep. It's, uh, it's got a nice, it's got a hole for a lanyard, if you want a lanyard you could wrap that round your hand if you wanted wanted to, like you would with a knife etc for chopping, put yourself a little bit of a lanyard, wrap three fingers in it or wrap it round your hand, whatever feels good and lock it on so you've no chance of letting go of that and it flying off so it's fastened to you. It's uh, It's got a lovely, lovely handle, it's going to be great to try it and see what it's like. Got the Beavercraft emblem on it there, like I say a nice weighty head, a little bit of a pommel there so I could use a mallet with that. 
it's got a decent sheath on it yep yeah, it's quite a quality sheath which is what you need for any shark tools especially if they're going in your rucksack there it's a lovely bit of kit yeah so I'm looking forward to using this so it's the beaver craft ads and uh, we're gonna carve a ball or hopefully carve a ball attempt to carve a ball now I was out today with a group teaching uh, some survival skills well I was teaching using bow saws and axes so I found a, a birch that's fallen down yeah that's semi green and I've cut a deep we cut a decent piece well I got the kids to cut me a piece out of this the lads to cut me a piece out so I'm gonna use that yeah and uh, I've chose birch because it's quite an easy wood to carve. There's not as many knots in it. Some of the pine around here, they're all red pine and yellow pine. White pine's nice to cut with chisels, etc. It's a bit softer, but they're a little bit harder and there's quite a lot of knots in them. So, but this nice piece of birch, I'm hoping it's going to be all right. So we're going to we're going to try this out and we're going to make ourselves a ball of some fashion. But yeah, I'm looking forward to using it. But. Uh, Nice bit of kit, isn't it? Well, let's see how it works. Let's put it into action. So that's this section of birch that we took out of this fallen tree. Let's see what we can do with that, eh? I've tidied most of it up. Uh, it's only early yet, but uh, well, quarter past six. But it's dark in the forest. It's getting dark in here, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to just finish tidying this up, and then we're going to get on with the ads work tomorrow. So I've just flattened it off a bit on one side. I'm getting rid of the bark on this side, and just making it a bit tidier. So. I can see what I'm doing tomorrow and we'll get on with ads tomorrow so tonight's gonna be a matter of chilling out bit of cooking you know a bit of tea chill out fire have a couple of whiskies and uh, get an early night and we'll get up early tomorrow do a few bits and then I'll start I'll spend, hopefully it's not going to take me too long. I mean, from start to finish, like you say, if you're doing this, you're making it absolutely beautiful. It is going to take you a while, isn't it? But uh, I can do that in my own time. But we're going to crack on with our ads and see what we can do with ads and how far we can get it and what it's looking like. See if we can get it looking like something decent and then I can finish it off with my knife but yeah I'm looking forward to trying it yeah be mint won't it hey some proper good little bit of bushcraft in it and we love a bit of bushcraft don't we hey you're a good boy aren't you Billy hey hey you're a good boy you're the best aren't you hey you're the best aren't you you're beautiful Cheers. I think that's all's fit neat, I reckon. About a bit of tea. Fire's ticking over quite nicely, just on edge it tight. Yeah, beautiful. Not much wind in forest. Fantastic. Anyway, <clears throat> it's gonna have a little drink, a couple of whiskies. Not much. There's no way I'm gonna drink all this. I'll just have a few swigs and We'll just relax. Early night tonight. I'll see you in the morning. Well, 
bloody slugs. And loads of them inside type. I've been bloody grabbing out of them and chucking them off all night. Loads of big buggers. Don't need a massive fire this morning. Just enough to get a brew going. Good boy. So our first brew it day. And then we'll uh, we'll get stripped down. I get my tarp and everything squared away. Get packed up and uh, and we're going to do a bit of woodwork, eh? We're going to do a bit of carving with that adds. Eh? Good lad. It's a good night anyway. I mean blooming heck, it's like summer, honestly. It's just fantastic. Just uh I mean I love winter anyway, I love winter me, I love it when you get wrapped up, but I mean at the minute it's just really mild and blooming heck. You don't need a fire, you don't need any heat at all. Uh just gives you a bit of light and something to cook on, like I was saying last night. But other than that, you don't require any, any. you don't have to sit around fire and keep warm or anything like that. You know, it's just really mild. So, just perfect under the tarp. Even just led up me a very, very thin mat, you know, that's about bloody, <laughs> must be 40 years out from when I was in scouts, that raw mat or something like that, or cubs or something like that. It's usually Billy's bed. I nicked it off you last night, didn't I, Billy? But, uh, yeah, I was snug as a bug in a rug, just nice. You know, to keep getting my upper body out during the night, just to cool down and give Billy a, a stroke and what have you. But, uh, yeah, no, it's blooming lovely. It's dead calm again today. So, yeah, let's get a brew on, and then we'll get a bit of carving done. Stick with us. Now because my fire's still burning, I'm going to uh, stay around here until I've burnt these logs down. Yeah, so if I can get rid of as much of these logs as possible, and then I'll clear my fire pit out. <laughs> Empty the place like I've never been here. Uh, so I'm going to start carving here. I might move to a different location in a bit. But for now, I'm going to start carving here. So I want to put myself a nice... I'm going to give myself... I'm going to give myself a bit of it, and I'm going to draw it freehand, yeah? You could do all, you could do it really fancy, put nails in and get your lines perfect. But I'm just, this is a bit of a bushcraft in the woods. Make do with what you've got. I'm going to free, I'm going to freehand it. I'm just going to, going to roll with it. Yep. So I'm going to, I'm going to draw it in myself. And then we'll get, we've got the template then to work from. Let's do it. First cuts with the ads. Yeah, beautiful bit of kit, isn't it? Yeah, lovely bit of kit. So looking forward to this. So first cuts. I think I'm going to come down. I'm going to come down central. That's lovely. That. Now that 
is making real easy work of that. How fast I'm getting in there is ridiculous compared to messing about with with uh, chisels and stuff like that. That is really slicing through. Fantastic first impression. So what you want to do, ideally, is make a channel across and then come down here because what you don't want to do is split it and it all run out to the end so if I make a channel and then take them off coming inwards that's the way to do it and just keep spinning it over obviously working on a bench in a workshop it'd be a lot easier wouldn't it I might even find myself a bit of a bench in the woods in a bit. Once that fire's gone out, I might move on and find some of it. for the animals getting it way as well. <laughs> hey? The big softy in it, hey? Hey aren't you? A big softy. You are lad, you are you are you big softy. I'm really impressed with this at the minute. No word of a lie, it's fantastic. Yeah, I'm really impressed with it. It's something so, so light, it's just got enough weight to dig in. So for carving projects, like balls and stuff like that, yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, I'm talking, I've only been at this 10 minutes or something. You know, and we're getting the beginnings of a good ball already. Yeah. Obviously, like any axe work, make sure that hand's well out of the way. I dare to think the damage one of these could do. key is just to let the ads do the work so I'm not putting too much effort into it just letting it swing down let's get the angles right I'm not joking I'm absolutely buzzing with that Billy mind out lad I'm absolutely buzzing with that. I mean, that's like, I mean, not even half an hour's work. Look at that. That's a decent, a decent ball already. You know, thin this down, me axe in a bit. Get this a bit of fine tuning. Yeah, probably with me, with me gouge or something, with me, with me like, my smaller chisel. But I mean, that is, I'm at, honestly, yeah, yeah. Great bit of kit, really impressed with that. I honestly, really impressed with that. It's a good bit of kit. So there we are, leave no trace. That's where my fire was. Yeah, got a few shavings from where I've been carving and that. But they're all uh, 
that's just wood that'll all just blooming break down won't it but uh, it'll soon be the same colour as forest floor but yeah there's no fire stain there torch's gone everything else yep bang on So I think that's it for today. So I'm quite I'm happy with that for today. Uh, just using the ads and the axe. Uh, but what a fantastic ads that is. Yeah. Beaver craft bushcraft. Well beaver craft tools. Yeah. Fantastic. They make some bushcraft stuff. They do some bushcraft knives and, and bits and pieces. But uh, I've always known them for carving. And uh, yeah, I'm really impressed with that. So I'm looking forward to using that a lot more. Uh, but yeah, what a, what a good bit of kit. So, we're getting there. This is just going to need thinning out and finishing off now and drying out and then a final blast over with the knife or whatever. So what I'm going to do, I'll get on with that in my own time, let it dry. So, if you watch one of my uh, next films, one of my next bushcraft films, I'll bring this out with me as a finished article and I'll show it you then. But other than that, thanks for joining me. I've had a great night, me and Billy in Woods. Early night, chilled out, just relaxing. Top night, bit of carving, can't beat it. So I've had a good night, haven't we, lad, eh? Hey, we're going to say bye-bye? Yeah, good boy. So we'll catch you again real soon, all right? So from Rick T, Outdoor Adventure, and Billy Dog, we'll see you again soon. Ta-da. <laughs>